Happy Little Office in West Covina, California. It's the Fubo Show! Hey, what is up, everybody? I am Joe C. And I'm Jack. And yeah, thank you all very much for listening to the Fubo Show. Thank you for downloading the pod on most major podcast apps, subscribing, and telling a friend like a tramp. You can always reach us at Food Bar Show. That's FWOBarshow.com. And FWOBarshow is our handle on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. Check us out. Drop us a line and we'll fill it up like a couple of foos. Ain't that right, food? Sifu. Yeah. So today on tap, we have the Chamber of Commerce podcast, Mr. Chris Luna what's and up? Tommy Hernandez. What up? What's up? What's up, guys? How you doing? Thanks for, you, thanks for being on the show, man. Good, I love that entrance. That was nice. Oh, yeah. thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. See, we got we to do saying, something like this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we got to get we gotta it out. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm going to be on your guys' podcast uh, Friday. Now, this, this yes, podcast sir. airs Friday, so I'll be on the show today. Guys, if you're listening wah. to this, uh, <laughs> I know time traveling, right? <laughs> and, Did you uh, use the Foos portal gun? I used this portal. <laughs> I gun. knew it. Yeah, he let me borrow what, it. What time is this going on Friday? Uh, it goes uh, up at midnight. at midnight. So you know, if if you're getting uh, you know up uh, so at, at the up. crack of fuck, getting ready for work mm-hmm. and everything, at it'll the be crack of fuck? at the crack of fuck. Uh-huh. And you're going to be on we our show. Mornings. We haven't decided are we doing six or seven o'clock. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Much <laughs> like this show. Friday morning, <laughs> I'll, I'll be there in the evening. <laughs> I'll be there all day. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting. <laughs> uh, so, Chris, you've been on the sh- you've been on the podcast before. You, you even brought your video equipment to test it out on mm-hmm. us. We were your guinea pigs. Yep. Uh, your your podcast is primarily a video uh, yes. podcast. Yes. Uh, but are you going to take it into the the audio realm yeah, so that so, you can distribute it that way too? Yes. So our first episode is up. Still having issues getting it on Apple. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know why. I, I keep logging in. It keeps kicking me out and kicking me out. Oh, so, I guess I can help. I got to ask that on you Friday. on that one. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it is on. Um, it is available already. Okay, yeah. but um, yeah, definitely video first, audio second. Mm-hmm. The hard part is that we go live, mm. so it's like we didn't take the baby steps. We went live on our first show, oh. and, and we found out later after messing around, one of our guests's microphones it got disconnected. Yeah. That was the issue after uh. I saw it because. This last episode that you helped us with, yep. we called episode zero. We did zero first before the first because uh, we had some accounts on us, and we had we we're, we're, we're trying to fix the audio more than mm-hmm. anything. So did the video's sound- kind of tight, right? The, the video is on point. Yeah, the yeah there's no, there. no problems there. Just make like sure Marley all Matlin? your cameras are charged. <laughs> yeah. 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 You got to make sure the cameras are charged. You look like uh, Marley Matlin on the camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the, the, the mic just disconnected. So yeah, I remember issue, zooming so in on your, on your tits. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> those always look good. Pink, those dick. pink, those pink, pink nipples are really good. It was a cold afternoon, wasn't it? <laughs> good thing I'm, oh wait, we are on video. Right now. <laughs> He's cutting that shit off. I was about to say, hey, this is a lot more casual, just being on audio. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, you know, hell yeah. This yeah. guy's in his fucking boxers. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't even get a dress code. So I, I did say pants were optional. Yeah. <laughs> So I wore shorts. So. <laughs> That's the rule of this show. <laughs> yeah, so we should be we should be up and ready for for you. Yeah. And if we fuck up again, then well, then it was it's only, it's only you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not one, no one important. It's not like it's a president or anything. But it, it it goes live, but it stays up, right? You you it's, you actually post it afterwards. Yeah, it remains up mm-hmm. um, through Facebook, um, Periscope, YouTube, um, Twitter, and Instagram are just links. Mm-hmm. But you can definitely see it anywhere. The idea is that we're we want to be able to communicate with our audience. Mm-hmm. So if we have someone that is interesting and you want to ask a question, we want to be able to ask them at the moment. Okay, because right? I know a lot of these videos you kind of comment after the fact, and there's no way of that makes sense, that, yeah. especially yeah. if we're interviewing people. So yeah, it's kind of the main thing. <clears throat> cool. Well, I mean, it, it's it's called the Chamber of Commerce podcast. For those that aren't familiar with what the hell that even means, the Chamber of Commerce show. The Chamber of Commerce show. Yes. Podcast. Dot com. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> dot com. Dot podcast. Tell us, t- so tell us, like, what's the actual, like, what? who are you meeting? What are you talking about? What's the objective? So Chris has been good enough to, uh, you know, give a little background as far as his experience in the Chamber of Commerce. Mm-hmm. You know, he runs his own business, so he's had some experience. Uh, but basically, what we're trying to do is put together 
a big group of business owners, whether it be new businesses or existing businesses, and highlight their success or their venture and try to figure out their connection to the Chamber of Commerce and how that's really helped them in their growth. Obviously, whether it's networking, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, you know, being able to, to connect with other businesses as far as a, a game plan. And I think whether it's a, a butcher shop or a recruiter or whatever it may be, there's there's stories behind everybody's journey that's mm-hmm. going to help them uh, and other people, hopefully. that's the And their thing. contribution to local business, right? Exactly. And the local business community. That sounds cool. Yeah. That's so our main, yeah. sounds my main thing is I've, I've listened to podcasts for a long time mm-hmm. or a lot of inspirational, motivational books and just everything, videos and whatnot, a lot of public speakers. And a lot of it is you're hearing advice from someone that's, already there mm-hmm. you know what I mean? and you're kind of taking it as they give it to you but i feel like well how did you really get there well, and not really did you yeah. how to get there it's like when you're talking to someone that's going through it is yeah. different than someone that has done it true i feel okay. like you yeah. know what I mean? because a lot of times it's really general what they're telling you like, it's it's like a how-to it's like a how-to but you're having these people actually tell you their story and yeah and like what they're their currently going through yeah. i mean especially with new businesses there's so much that takes place in, in opening a door. It's not that easy. Like, give me a so, roadmap kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why we do it live is hopefully, you know, we build that audience and someone that's... We just interviewed someone that owns a, a butcher shop. If someone else is opening up a butcher shop, which is rare, uh-huh. um, but at least they I would ask, like, well, hey, where do you get the meat or what do you do with the meat when, when it ships? You know, how long does it stay in the truck or how do you take mm-hmm. inventory of the meat? How do you know you're not getting ripped off from, you know, your vendor? So these yeah. are all these things that I wanted to ask. We ran out of time, but the, those are the detailed questions that I want to get into with these businesses. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and and um, just to recap from the previous time you were in here, you you've been a business guy since you were a teenager, uh, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, I, mean I don't know. Honey, you tell where, me. Where are you no, going I mean, with this? I, I, I grew up. You know, I grew up in in a family business. So even before my teens, you know, and I was in elementary school, I was selling candy to. You know, kids there, and then I got in trouble, so I started selling it to the actual science center there. So you started selling drugs. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, throughout the elementary, middle, and high school, I was selling candy. You know, I probably had more money then than I have now. <laughs> like, but I would go to my parents' shop, I would just fill up bags full of stuff, and I didn't have to pay for it. So I, there had, you go. I had 100% you had margin. all this margin, yeah. <laughs> Genius. So, yeah. So I did. You know, I, you learn a lot during the during that process, and now mm-hmm. it's it's. I mean, I don't really even see a lot of kids fundraising now, and if they are fundraising, it's a mom or dad asking for the money, and not yeah, the kid. you don't you don't yeah. see the kid anymore that. going door to door saying, "Hey, would you like to buy my yeah. football team's yeah. coupon card?" And then yeah. when they do, you're just like that kid ain't for real. Yeah, <laughs> uh, like what is this kid you really trying so to do? Every yeah. kid, it's non common yeah, anymore. Yeah, it's so. not. It's not. Yeah. I mean, because you even get those kids that like they overemphasize, like, "Hello, my name is Bradley. <laughs> I I am 14 years old. Would you please?" Sign up for a subscription for a magazine. <laughs> it's like, all right, bro, you're you're putting a little too like non emphasis on those words. All right, you're not yeah, convincing yeah, me. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a dead pitch for yeah. sure. That's so funny because it was sorry when I when I told I told myself when I have a kid, I'm not gonna have my kid. Like I, I've always been approached by parents of the kids that are trying to fundraise. I have a, a vendor in particular. And every year, he just literally throws a book at me. And it's already, like, expected. And I'm like, dude, I've never met your kid. But, yeah. okay, it's for your kid and whatever. But I always <laughs> said, I'm never going to do this with my son or my daughter. First <laughs> fundraiser, dude. The first <laughs> fucking fundraiser. My wife, I think she did it to you. She's like, oh, here, buy something. I'm like, babe. I was like, what is it? Like, like, at least put the kid through the process of knowing what's happening. Like, <laughs> yeah. like Nino. Put your head here, down. Like, you know, like something. something, you know, so... Because I feel like that's how you start. That's how you learn. Well, that's man. the like, point, too. Yeah. That's the point for them to learn, you know, the exchange of, of goods and services for money and, yeah. and, I mean, and all that. I remember as a kid, uh, my dad was a part of the Knights of Columbus. Oh, yeah. And every Sunday we would go outside of the church. Mm-hmm. I would never go to Mass. What we, me and my brother would do is we'd have to sell. I don't know if you guys remember. They used to sell those Tootsie Rolls yeah. that had the Knights of Columbus oh, thing yeah, on yeah, the back yeah. of it. We used to sell them oh, for yeah. a dollar. Yeah. So yeah. me and my brother would be in the front just selling them for a dollar. And they'd just be like... Oh, kid, you're so cute. I'm like, buy, buy the, the whole, whole thing, or else my dad won't. My dad will get really <laughs> or mad. He'll beat me. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, okay, okay. But my dad would always get mad at me because me and Carl would uh, eat the profits. So. <laughs> right. 
Yeah. What about you, Tommy? Like, what, what was your introduction to the business world and what kind of inspired you to partner up with Chris to create this podcast? Well, definitely a different route. I feel like our relationship kind of, uh, you know, happened randomly. It wasn't planned. We, I met through my wife now, but uh, my wife grew up with Chris and his wife. Mm-hmm. Um, so my wife and his wife are best friends. They grew up together. And uh, but my business route's definitely been different. I mean, I, I never thought I'd be doing what I do now. But, you know, I have a background in sales. I, I you know, went to college. I studied uh, sociology and economics. I didn't think I'd be getting into sales, which is what I'm in now. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I played football for a minute in college. I went got a cup of coffee with the Vikings and oh. that, didn't, that didn't work out. I was too small. It wasn't uh-huh. good enough. But, hey, I had an experience yeah, for a couple for sure. months. It was fun and had to go into the business world. and. Mm-hmm. I uh, ended up working for, you know, Edison for a couple of years as a business analyst and, and learned a lot. But uh, that portion of the business ended up going bankrupt. So went into a different company, which is sales based and, yeah. and was there for about seven years uh, selling food packaging. And it was great. I loved it. But it was, you know, 100 percent commission. So I was hustling. Oh, yeah. you know, I'm, for I, seven years. Yeah. And it's Damn. it's been a hell of a experience. I mean, oh, I've yeah. learned so much. And luckily, you know, a, a new opportunity came across my my table, and I took it for same industry, uh, oh, okay. but just a very very solid company, a Fortune 500 company that mm-hmm. is going to put me in a, a a really good position to succeed, but also gives me more opportunity to to make more money, uh, and then just learn a lot more. I think I think I always look up to Chris as a business owner, and we we share oh. ideas, <laughs> right? right? Oh, and it's not, he's not just a pair of nipples; he's, 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 a, he's a brain too. You know? Not just a pair of nipples. News to <laughs> me, Tommy. Damn. News to me. I was to about me. to cancel That's my gym membership. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm done. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's been it's been a hell of a journey, man. And I'm looking forward to just continuing to learn. And uh, I feel like we always we always uh, share ideas and share kind of mindsets coming from different views. Mm. But I feel like the show's gonna be a success just because we have you know different backgrounds. We're gonna have some great guests on, and obviously, I'm excited to have you on. And yeah. Man. Yeah, hear your story. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, I, I won't. I won't really be plugging this show. I'll probably yeah. throw. I'll throw it in yeah. a little bit. <laughs> I'll be. I'll be talking about my day job. You know, I'm an executive recruiter, so I'm talking to people from all kinds of businesses and right. walks of life and and positions that they've been in. So it's going to be an interesting talk. I don't think I've ever. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever talked about my day job without it being a sales pitch. So this is going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, but you could turn it into a sales pitch, though. I mean, it, mm. that's kind of part of our show. If you got to plug your, your, your company, yeah. then do what you got to do. Your day job. Yeah, your day job. Right. right. Come on, man. You don't want to plug my night job the... is something else. You, know? <laughs> you don't want to plug the joint oh, report, wait. man? Hey, this, this, is, this could be a business within itself. I mean, oh, we totally. Don't know how, I mean, I that's mean, what it podcasting is. Podcasting is a business. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. totally. You know, yeah, uh, get, getting some uh, <laughs> some ads, getting yeah. all that good stuff in there. I yeah. think uh, I think we got Jack in the Box. Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah, we have Jack in the Box. <laughs> we, we, huh. we, we. <laughs> yeah, I wonder knew. why though. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. They, must know, they must know where we go. I'm about to go into some deep deep research and have a munchy meal some tonight. Munchy meal. You're, all, you're always eating a spicy chicken when you're podcasting or what? Oh, they knew. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well shit, man. I mean we're gonna go we're gonna go through the rest of the podcast. You guys feel free to crack wise, you know, Definitely. jump on in whenever uh whenever you want. We no don't... bards hold. No bards hold here. Okay. Okay. Yep, mm-hmm. that's right. Yeah. No holds barred. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. So I have something to complain about. Oh, new. Uh, I That's was, new. I was, getting, <laughs> I was getting my car washed over at the West Covina uh, car wash uh, over the weekend. And um, I can't believe what the fuck happened to K-Earth. Remember when K-Earth used to be good? Oh, yeah. Remember uh, when they used to play wrong. like oh, 60s Motown and shit like that? Yeah. So this is what I heard when I was sitting and waiting for my car. I was I was uh, I was hearing One Night in Bangkok. What? Remember that stupid ass song? One Night in Bangkok? Yeah, One Night in Bangkok. I'll try to pull it up for you guys. Are you sure here. you don't it's... have the wrong station? Like, no, you're not this on is... 100.3. Well, they they and uh, you know, um, I was uh, I was waiting for like Jack FM or some bullshit like that. No, yeah, yeah. it was it was K-Earth they don't even use that jingle anymore. Oh, they don't? All right. No. Well, I mean, if they don't use the jingle anymore, you know, I can't be too bad. But what other songs? Um, so after that, I'm just like, well, it can't get any worse than this. I mean, One Night in Bangkok, dude, that's pretty low. So do you really want to hurt me? Jesus Christ, obviously. And you know how much I hate the 80s. <laughs> yeah. What? The one night. Oh, hold on, hold on. What's the next one? I got to hear it. Maybe, uh, maybe I, I Love Rock and Roll. 
I can't fucking stand that song. It's so repetitive. So, one night in Bangkok, <laughs> don't yeah. you want to hurt me? That's I right. love rock and roll. Yes, sir. All three of them. Right. <laughs> God damn. In a row. Jesus Christ. Uh, so um, he, here's a little bit. Uh, <laughs> have you have you guys heard uh, "One Night in Bangkok"? It's the most. It's I'm pretty sure if I hear it, maybe just the house remix. That's the only one I've heard. That's